what's up guys thanks for checking out the channel watching a video today we are going to do a rice dish now i do have to tell you where i came from in the mountains of tennessee rice was not predominant it was not the starch that you eat we ate potatoes in fact like eating rice was kind of putting on airs it's like we just didn't have it i remember one time we had a dad's boss came over and mom cooked something with rice and that was like a big deal for us but anyway in louisiana rice is really popular but something i remember from tennessee and not it's not real popular down here but it was rice pudding my mother loved rice pudding that she would take rice that we had eaten for our special dinners from for visitors and put cinnamon and sugar and milk with it and kind of made a like a like a cereal almost but there's a better rice pudding which you cook the rice in the milk and that's what we're doing today we're making an old-fashioned rice pudding pudding there you go or old-fashioned rice pudding cooked in milk with cinnamon nutmeg almonds cardamom and these great flavors cook it for about 40 minutes anyway guys it's a great great recipe this is rice pudding on the stove it's delicious and it's not crazy sweet or anything like that it's just such a great comfort food um because it's cold in louisiana today it's almost 40 so it's it's chilly for us um i know i have to go to wisconsin in a few weeks and it's going to be like 12 <laughs> i think i don't know how to survive but i'll make it but anyway i digress this is the rice pudding that's what we're making today um, you guys, if you're not subscribers, take a second and hit subscribe for us. We're almost at the thousand mark, which is just such a magical number for us. Uh, take a moment, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up too. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below because I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, guys, here comes my rice pudding. All right. So first thing we want to do, we want to toast our rice and our almonds. We're going to put about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half-ish of butter. I'm going to let that begin to melt a little bit. And then on the side, I have one half a cup of sliced almonds and a half a cup of long grain fragrant jasmine rice. Don't use the regular stuff you want, the long grain jasmine, just cause. Resist the urge to wash it. You don't want, you want the starch. You know, when you, when you cook rice, you wash it, but we don't want to wash it. We want that starch to stay attached. Okay, we're gonna... And I don't know if I've ever told you all this. I am the worst rice cooker in the world. In the world, it's me. I um, I cooked something for a friend of mine one time, and it had rice. It turned out like caulking. It always did. That is until I met Mike. Mike has a simple technique for cooking rice, and I will share that with you guys sometime. It's foolproof. It's so easy, no measuring, boom, boom, you're done. And it makes absolutely the perfect rice. He said his mama did it this way and she knew what she would do on. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're just beginning to melt. We're gonna put our rice and our almonds in there. Y'all don't know how many stores I had to go to buy a small bag of sliced almonds at Baton Rouge. It's like every Walmart was out of almonds. It was like an almond shortage. They had the giant bag for $12. I need a fourth of a cup. I'm not buying it much. So I probably spent, <laughs> probably spent $20 driving around finding a small bag, but I found it finally. We're gonna cook this for about two minutes. We want this to get toasty. We want it to get brown and fragrant. We're gonna smell it like it's, it's toasting up a little bit. And you do wanna keep stirring it. You don't want it to burn, because once it starts going, it goes. It's not close yet. Okay, kids, this has been cooking for two or three minutes or so. You see it's beginning, the rice is kind of turning white. You can smell it beginning to get a little toasty and delicious. Now the toasting, it really changes the flavor to me. I think that it's worth it. A lot of the, a lot of cuisines, you do toast the rice before you cook. And so I don't, I don't know if that's where they got this from or not, but we're gonna do that. Like it's always been done. The, the almonds are beginning to turn a little bit. See right there? See a little more right there? Get a little bit of color. Want a little more color than that across the board. Yeah, I think I used a little bit more than a tablespoon of butter. Probably a two tablespoons. But it's all right. We won't tell nobody. Okay, see the rice? See it's beginning to turn? See, there's a few greens in there that are turning golden and delicious. 
the smell is definitely can become toasty. At this point, we're gonna add our spices. I'm gonna kind of set it off to the side here. We have about a fourth of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We have about a half a teaspoon of salt and about a eighth of a teaspoon of cardamom. And if you've never used cardamom, cardamom is really strong. So we wanna back that down to about an eighth of a teaspoon. And it comes from a pod and it's used in Indian cooking a lot. So we're gonna dump that in and stir that around. We wanna bloom those spices. Also to that, we're gonna grate a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Can y'all see me doing this? We're gonna cook that for about a minute more. We want those spices to bloom and be delicious. Now, now it smells good in here, y'all. Smells good. One of my viewers, Erica, that oh, it asked me about sugar replacement for dishes. You know, I don't really know anything about sugar replacement. I've never used it. I remember, I'm from the days where we used Sweet and Low. I remember NutraSweet coming on the market. So I don't know. If y'all know anything about replacement sugars, let us know because I'd love to be able to tell Erica like, hey, oh yeah, you can replace that with blah, blah, blah. But I really just don't know anything about it. I'm sorry, Erica. Okay, we're gonna call that bloomed. So now, to this, we are going to add four cups of whole milk. I'm not using soy, shockingly. I'm gonna use whole milk. That's four cups of whole milk. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And we are going to add one fourth of a cup of sugar. We don't want this like syrup. And also to that, about a fourth of a cup of raisins. We're gonna stir this. Now we want this to come on medium heat. We're gonna let this come to a rolling boil. Well, not a rolling, it's gonna to come to, till it simmers. We don't want it like blowing up all over the place. Let that come to a simmer. We're gonna smell it. It smells so good, y'all. You don't have to sit here and stir it. If you can, once it comes to a boil, we're gonna crank the heat down. This is always where I mess up my rice. When I'm cooking regular rice. And it turns to caulking. But ironically for this dish, you, you kind of want it to turn to caulking because the starch in the rice is what thickens the pudding. It makes it creamy and delicious. Right, we're gonna let that come to a simmer, not a rolling bowl, a simmer. All right, guys, we are almost at a simmer. It's trying, it's working really hard to simmer. My dogs are playing in the background, if you can hear it, sorry. Yep, yeah, see, we're getting a simmer. So we're gonna turn this down to low, like a low, right above the lowest thing for me. Because we don't want that milk to scald, not to scald, to burn. Scalding the milk is a different story. We do not want that milk to burn. So we're gonna take that on lowest setting, put the lid on it. We're gonna let this big boy cook for about 40 minutes or until the rice is soft and it's, the mixture has, it's thickened. It's become a little pudding-ish. Now, as we let this cool, it's gonna thicken more, but we're gonna let that go for about 40 minutes. Okay, kids, this has been cooking for about 40 minutes. Let's take the top off and glance. And I did stir it occasionally, not a lot. It's thickened up. It smells so good. That's what you got right there. So it's still kind of thin, but as you cool this, it will thicken. So what we're gonna do is turn this off and set it off the stove, off the heat, let it sit there on the counter, on the, um, eye of the off eye of the stove and let it cool. This has cooled for several hours, actually. We ran some errands, so I stepped away. It did get a little skin on it, but that's no problem. Look how much it's thickened up. Awesome. 
So we are going to store that in a dish, but we're going to get us a plate out and taste it. Because you can eat this cold, which I like it cold, or you can eat it warm or like room temp. But I prefer it cold. But we are going to go ahead and taste this at this temperature. All right, guys, rice pudding. Uh, you can smell the milk and the nutmeg and the cinnamon. So good. This takes me back. To me, that is comfort food. That is one of the best comfort foods. It takes me back to time before mortgages and bills and everything in life was simple and you're a kid. But anyway, guys, that is my rice pudding. It is delicious. But anyway, guys, that is my rice pudding. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you try it, make sure you give me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you have questions or want me to make something, give me, I got something this week from somebody who wanted me to try something. We're probably going to do it next week. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take a second, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you as subscribers. Give me a thumbs up. But most important, guys, be safe out there and take care of each other. We'll see you next week.